Hello everyone. In this video, we will be trying to interpret a few distance time graphs. Before that, let's recall whatever we have learned in the previous video. So these are the graphs that we have already seen in our previous video. So this first graph, as we can see, uh, it's a straight line which represents a uniform motion which we have already discussed since the body seems to travel equal distances in equal intervals of time. So this is a graph which is a straight line that is inclined to x axis and this represents a body moving with a uniform speed or uniform velocity. Moving on to the second graph. Now this graph is also a straight line but it is exactly parallel to x axis or the time axis here. We can see that the distance covered by the body is not at all increasing with the time. So we can say that the body is at rest and whenever a body is at rest its distance time graph is like this that is a straight line parallel to x axis or the time axis. Now this is the third graph which has two straight lines. And both are inclined to x axis. Now we know that any straight line graph, any straight line distance time graph that is inclined to x axis is representing a uniformly moving body. Now these two graphs also represent a body which is moving with a uniform speed, but there is a difference between the speeds of these two bodies. Now, what is the difference between the speeds of these two bodies? The one with a steeper line has a greater speed as compared to the one with a less steeper line. For example, here the green uh, curve shows the motion of a body with the higher speed and the curve which is in red color which is less steeper than the green curve represents the motion of a body with a lesser speed. So it all depends upon the steepness of the straight line graph. So this also represents a uniform speed. Moving on to the fourth graph, we have also seen this kind of graph in a previous video. Now this graph is not a straight line and we have already seen that a graph which is not a straight line, that is a distance time graph which is not a straight line represents the body moving with a non-uniform speed. So these are all the four uh, types of graphs that we are going to use while interpreting a few more distance time graphs which are uh, a little more complicated as compared to these graphs. So let's get started. First, first of all we have to interpret this graph. This is a graph which shows the motion of a car along a straight road. Now we see that this as a whole is not a straight line. So we will be studying this whole graph in terms of parts OA, AB and BC. Now until point A the body was traveling with a uniform speed since the uh, curve or the distance time graph is a straight line inclined to x axis. So we can say that up to point A the body was in uniform motion. After that, up to point B, we see there is no increase or decrease in the distance covered by the body with increase in time. And the line is parallel to x axis. And we know that whenever the distance time graph is parallel to x axis, it represents the body at rest. So for some time, the body or the car was at rest. And again, it has started moving since there is a change in distance with time. Now we see that the nature of change in distance with time is something different as compared to this, uh, this portion of the curve. That is, in this portion of the curve, the distance was increasing with the time. And in this portion of the curve, the distance is decreasing with the time and eventually the distance value comes to zero at point C. Which would essentially mean that the body has started moving from some point and it has reached point A where it has stopped for a while and then it came back to the same initial position again. So this is the interpretation of this graph. 
that is for OA the car was moving with a uniform speed for the part AP the car was at rest and then for the part BC the car has returned to the initial point with a uniform speed now let's try to interpret this graph this graph is quite similar to the previous one but there is a small difference that is the curve BC is not heading down but it's heading up now up to point B the interpretation of the graph will be the same but for the part BC again we see that the distance of the car is not decreasing with time but it is increasing with time again it's not at all decreasing with time and at the end that is at point C the body has covered some distance after point B in a forward direction but not in a backward direction as, pre as in the previous case so in this case we will interpret this graph as uh, the, uh, for the part OA the car was moving with a uniform speed since this OA is a straight line in inclined to x-axis for the part AB the car was at rest since AB is exactly parallel to x-axis and for the part BC the car continues to move forward it didn't return back but it, it has moved forward since its distance increases with the time so here for the part BC the car moves forward with a uniform speed again now let's try to interpret this graph now this graph says that three cars in a race so in this graph there are three straight lines which are all inclined to x-axis and each of them represents a car in a running race now these three cars A, B and C represent these three curves here which, is, which are in green, blue and red. Now let's try to interpret what is actually happening in this race. Now first interpretation would be all the cars are moving with a uniform motion. Since we know that any straight line distance time graph which is inclined to x axis represents a uniform speed so all the cars are in uniform motion we can interpret this the second interpretation would be the car a is the fastest among all three cars why is it so because the uh, line which represents the car a which is the green line is the steepest among all these three lines and we have already read that steeper is the line steeper is the distance time graph more is the speed of that particular object so here the car A is the fastest among all these three cars and the interpretation 3 says that the car B moves faster than car C. So we see that the, uh, uh, the graph for car B is steeper as compared to car C and this would essentially mean that car B is moving faster than car C. So this was all about interpreting this graph. Now let's move ahead. Now let's interpret this graph. Now here we see that this is a motion of a bike. Now this distance time graph shows a curve here. Now this part is not a straight line but a curve. And we have already learned that any distance time graph which is not a straight line but it is a curve like this represents a non-uniformly moving body or a body with a non-uniform velocity. So up to this point, the bike was moving with a non-uniform velocity and in this portion of the curve, it is exactly parallel to x-axis or the time axis. So we can say that for some time, the body was at rest or the bike was at rest and then again it has started moving. Now here, this is again a non-uniform motion. But we see here that the distance of the bike decreases with the time and again comes to zero the distance finally comes to zero which would essentially mean that the bike has come to its initial point wherever it has started back after the whole journey finishes so we can interpret this graph as initially the car was moving with a non-uniform speed at this part it was at rest for some time and then again it has uh, return to the initial position with the same non-uniform speed. Now, what would be the interpretation of this graph then? 
we know that it's almost similar to the previous one but here the curve which is supposed to come downward is moving upward now this would essentially mean that the distance of the bike is increasing with time and we can say that the bike has not returned to the initial position but after this point it has started moving forward with with the same non uniform speed again so the interpretation of this graph would be initially the car was moving with a non uniform speed which represents this part of the curve then it was at rest for some time which represents this part of the curve which is exactly parallel to time axis and this part of the curve represents the continuous movement of the bike in the forward direction with again a non uniform speed so these are a few interpretations of a few distance time graphs and i hope that you will be able to interpret some similar graphs thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning